Let's see how we can use the Kramer's rule to find the solutions of a simultaneous equation apart from the three general methods substitution method, elimination method, and the graphical method. Now, the question says use the Kramer's rule to find the solutions of the set of simultaneous equations. Now, the first thing we are going to do here is to form a matrix of the coefficients of the unknown variables. Now, remember that the unknown variables here are x and y. So, the coefficients of the unknown variables in the both equations are the coefficient of x here is 2. The coefficient of y here is 1. The coefficient of x here is 4. And the coefficient of y here is minus 3. Okay. Now, we are now going to multiply this matrix by the matrix of the unknown variables. And the unknown variables are x and y. So, we have x, y. Then, we now equate it to the matrix of the constants. And the constants are 4 and minus 2. 4, minus 2. Okay. Now, after this step, the next step now is to find the determinants of this matrix here. Now, remember that the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix is obtained by subtracting the product of the elements of the trailing diagonal from the product of the elements of the leading diagonal. So, now, the determinant of this matrix is equal to, so we have 2, 4, 1, minus 3. And this is equal to minus 3 times 2 will give us minus 6. Then you now place a minus sign. 4 times 1 will give us 4. And minus 6 minus 4 will give us minus 10. Alright. Now, the next step now is to find the determinant of the matrix of X. And the matrix of X is obtained by replacing the first column of this matrix with the matrix of the constants and then find the determinants. So the determinant of the matrix of X is equal to, now you replace 2 and 4 with 4 and minus 2. So we have 4 minus 2, then we have 1 and minus 3. So this is equal to minus 3 times 4 will give us minus 12. Then minus, minus 2 times 1 will give us minus 2. Okay, now this is equal to minus 12. Remember that minus times minus will give us plus the 2. This is equal to minus 12 plus 2 will give us minus 10. Okay, now let us find the determinant of the matrix of y. And remember that the matrix of y is obtained by replacing the second column with the matrix of the constants. So the determinant of the matrix of y is equal to we have 2 and 4. Then we now replace this with 4 and minus 2. We have 4 and minus 2. Okay. Now, the determinant now is equal to minus 2 times 2 will give us minus 4. Then minus 4 times 4 will give us 16. And this is equal to Minus 4 minus 16 will give us minus 20. Okay. But remember, we are asked to find the values of x and the y. Now, x is equal to the determinant of the matrix of x divided by the determinant of this matrix. And this is equal to Remember that the determinant of the matrix of x is minus 10. So we have minus 10 divided by the determinant of this matrix. That is D is equal to minus 10. Now minus 10 over minus 10 is equal to 1. 
Okay, now y is equal to the determinant of the matrix of y divided by the determinant of this matrix. Now this is equal to the determinant of the matrix of y is equal to minus 20. So we have minus 20 divided by the determinant is equal to minus 10. Because this minus we cancel this minus. So we are going to have 20 over 10 will give us 2. So that means that the value of x is equal to 1 and the value of y is equal to 2. Thank you very much for your audience. Please don't forget to share our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. God bless you.